everybody, it's Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse, and I'm back to work on this little project. This is the inside of the cover and this is the outside. And I'm gonna set the cover aside because what I need to do next is decoupage it. I decided I wanted to decoupage it before I decorate the front because I wanna use some ribbon and stuff on it and obviously that wouldn't decoupage very well. Um, and I can't find my decoupage, <laughs> which I'm not gonna be embarrassed about because I bet a lot of you have messy workrooms like I do. So anyway, I'm going to hunt that down or order some more. But in the meantime, we can work on the pages. Oh, so I need to bring this back actually for a moment. Okay, so this cardboard, let me get a piece of the cardboard that's not all decorated up. This cardboard is um, it is seven, about seven and a half by um, about five and one eighth. So I think what I need for the pages is going to be about seven inches by, um, let's see here, seven inches by about four and a half inches. Okay, so seven by four and a half. Let's remember that. And I'm not sure how many pages I'm going to need for it because it's so small. But I just grabbed a, a bunch of pages out of my. Um, out of my stash of, what is this called, coffee dyed paper. Sorry, you guys, I am so tired. Anyway, so what did I say? Seven by four and a half. I think I need to write this down. Um, seven by four and a half. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so seven by four and a half. Let's just write this on this piece of cardboard, if I can find a pen. Seven, seven by four and a half. Okay, I think this will be a really cute little notebook. All right, so we're going to have to open this arm up again to get seven inches. Seven by four and a half. This snaps in place. There we go. Okay, and so I'm going to line it up here. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that side. Okay, so seven by four and a half. So we're going to do seven inches first. Let's actually, let's do a few pages at once. We don't need to do these one page at a time. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. But since I'm going to be putting things on each of these pages, I don't think I want to use paper that's that pretty. That will be used for pages that I leave blank. All right. All right, so let's do seven inches first. I'm going to line it up with seven here. I'm, I'm going to have lace on the edges too. That's part of why I'm making it smaller than the cardboard. So that's our seven inches. Ooh, it didn't go all the way through. Let's get the rest of them. There we go. Seven inches by four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. Good. Oops, there we go. Okay, I don't suppose that's, oh yeah, that's seven inches and this is four inches. Okay, that's actually really good. We can use some of those pages that way. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of this away. How many sheets do I have? I have, mm, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'll make twenty sheets. It'll make forty pages. That is plenty for this little book. It may even be too many. Okay, and I'll show you why I'm thinking that it'd be really cool to have those different sizes. Okay, so I it's because this where did I put it? Because my cover, you know, looks kind of raggedy and everything. I don't want to have it you know, be perfect inside. I want it to be kind of, you know, jumbly and, and uneven sized pages and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these pages. I'm going to find the prettiest one. Oh, I think that one's the prettiest. So that's going to be the outside page. All right. It'll be the first one and hold it. And I probably won't use lace on the first one. And then let's go ahead and fold all these two. They don't have to be perfectly even. 
I kind of don't want them to be perfectly even. And then let's fold these. Okay. And then I think that these are about the same number. So we're going to, we're not going to do every other. I think I want to have another page, another big page right inside because I'll use, I'll put lace on that one. And then let's have um, a couple of these and we're going to kind of stagger them. I don't really have to stagger them right now, but I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about like this. Okay, so that they're not quite even. All right, and then let's put in another one of these. Let's that's a pretty oh, that's a pretty page for the centerfold. So we'll use this for the centerfold. And set that aside a little bit. And then put a whole page in. And then again a couple of these. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about staggering them this time. I'll just put them in because we they're not gonna stay staggered right now with all that we're gonna be doing decorating these pages and then that'll be the centerfold okay so the main thing we're gonna to do today is we're going to sew lace on these all right I don't think I want to do any punched edges for this because it's coffee stained and it's kind of a jaggedy thing so we're just gonna put lace and I think I want to put cotton lace on them so I bought this cotton lace recently I haven't used it yet I love it it came in white and this color all in one package and I'll post that below in the description box so oh, brother I should have opened these up before these are kind of there we go they're all twisty all right so we want so how many pages do I have total here I'm not going to do the outside one or the middle one so we've got one two three four five six Seven, eight. Besides the outside one and the middle ones, that's eight. So that's sixteen, and we'll probably do it on about three fourths of that. So let's say um, six. So eight, sixteen. Let's say um, three fourths would be <laughs> twelve. <laughs> okay. So we want twelve pieces of lace. All right. And so I'm going to see how big I need the lace to be. Um, okay, so about that big, which is five inches. Okay, so I'm going to do 12 pieces that are five inches each. So that's, and they're not all going to be the same. So this is two. Okay, let's do four of this one. So this is three and four. I love the cotton lace. It just oh, it just makes it look really old fashioned and it feels really good. I have a lot of polyester lace and I like that too, but I've fallen in love with this stuff. So that was four. All right, let's get this open. Four. Now this one's pretty and it's small, so I might do, I'm not sure, we'll see. What did I say? Five inches? Okay. Four. Five. Six. All right. And is there anything else that I specifically want on here? I'm going to be putting it on some of the smaller pages, too. So that's six, and I'm doing 12. Let's do two more of the five inches. Oh, that's really pretty, isn't it? Okay, one here. So that's seven and eight. And then we'll do two of the smaller pages, which are how big? They are four inches. Okay. Seven, eight. We need four that are four inches. So nine. Ten. And 
Let's see if I have any others that I kind of put in. Yeah, this one here. This is kind of your traditional design for lace edging. So we're going to get two of these that are four inches each. What if we just do eight inches and cut it in half? That might be the way to do it. I'm sorry if I'm mumbling. I need to talk a little bit louder. I haven't done any recording for quite a while. Okay, there we go. So we've got big and small. Okay, so we're going to sew these onto the edges of some of the pages. We're not going to do the first page, but we'll do this second one. And what I do, and I learned this from Gail Agostinelli, is when you take out a page, in order to be able to find your place later, you just turn the other pages sideways on top of that one so you know where to put this back. All right, so we're going to sew some lace on these, and I prefer to do it so that it's going to be facing the front. Oh, this is a big page. Is it a small page? That's no, a big page. Okay, so we need a big piece. I do. I need to. I like to do it so that I am, um, so that the lace is facing the front. Okay, so we're gonna do it like that, and then we'll do it on this side in here, rather than doing it on both edges. The same. Okay, so now I'm going to sew the lace on the edges of the pages. Now that I've got the right color of of um, thread. <laughs> I use a zigzag stitch when I sew it on. I just feel like that holds it better. And it's kind of, you know, pretty and when I'm doing this kind of messy stuff especially. And I also don't cut my thread. Now this one here is way too long because I just, you know, I just threaded the machine. So, but my machine cuts most, cuts it itself and then it's short like this. And so I like to have those kind of hanging out there. Okay, and then let's put one on the other side of this page, which is right here. Oops, that's a short one. I should have like sorted these as I went or something. Okay, so I want to have these. Always look at your lace and make sure that it's right side up. This one's cut way too long. Is this a short page or a long page? Uh, what size do I have here? I have four and a half inches. Okay, so maybe it needs a short piece. Well, that's long. Okay, so I really should have kept these sorted between long and short. That's too short. Okay, so I guess, I don't know, whatever. I'm just going to put this on. <laughs> oh, dear. So some of them I cut too long, and I'll just trim them, I guess. I like having the lace on the edges. It makes it feel really good, and it's pretty and it gives that kind of shaggy chic look because it's all uneven, <laughs> especially when my sewing machine wants to eat it up. All right, pull this out. <laughs> of course. Oops, I have some silk strips too that I wanna put on these, one of which just dropped on the floor, so that's okay. I just won't have as many. All right, so there we go. This small lace is a little bit harder to handle because I want it sticking off the edge of the page because I like it when it's, you know, when you can see it kind of sticking out. All right, what's going on there? All right, it just was catching that. Okay, so this, this thread here I will, of course, trim. So there we go. So we've got those two like that. And let's go through and figure out which other pages we want lace on. That's pretty. That's actually one of the big pages. Okay, so let's skip one and let's do this one here. So I'm turning this sideways so I know where this piece goes. It doesn't matter quite as much with this book because um, obviously it's so small. And everything that with bigger books or with pages you know that are really different from each other these pages aren't really different from each other so it doesn't matter quite so much that they're kept in order but I did have you know I picked out especially the first page and the center fold so I want to make sure that I keep those in the right places okay so here we go One 
thing about the cotton lace is that it doesn't like lie flat when you're not holding it. You have to <clears throat> hold it at the ends to make sure that it doesn't, I'm looking for another short piece here, here we go, to make sure that it doesn't just like crumple up all over inside. So, but it's not too hard. I mean, it's not like a big deal. It's just, just telling you to be careful of that. Be watchful for it. Okay, so that's a couple more. All right, so I'm gonna let y'all go while I put on more lace. I'm not gonna make you watch me do all this. That could be a little torturous, but that's the next step in doing okay, this. So here are the pages with the lace on them. So you can see here what it's gonna look like. I'm, you know, it's gonna be decorated and stuff. I'm still gonna put some decoration on here and I've got a Mod Podge it, but just to give you kind of an idea of what I've got here, all these different kinds of lace. I'm not staggering them right now. Um, I also used some sari silk, which I sell in my shop, and I'll put a link for that. So I've got lace on almost all the pages, lace or sari silk. So that's kind of fun. And I think that this is just the right, now this is the center fold, so I'm not putting lace on that. I think this is just the right number of pages for this little tiny notebook. Otherwise it'll be too full when we add everything to it. Um, but that's what we've got so far. And so next we'll start working on the pages, on decorating the pages. All right, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye.